Bet you every IS out there has gotten a big ass hole in here from the broken shifter plate. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just gonna go over a quick replacement of this little piece, which is a little shifter plate. Most people that have two ISs that are like seven to 14 years old by now have had this thing break on them. This thing becomes very brittle after a while and it's a pretty easy replacement. You get this on Amazon or eBay for around 12 to $15. So just take the old pieces out and install this new one. It's pretty easy. It doesn't even require any special tools. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do this. So to change this, it's pretty straightforward and easy. First thing you need to do is just take apart your shift knob. That thing just screws right off. Pop the two little gray pieces right here on the side, which is pretty easy, it doesn't even require any tools. If you have some fingernails, you could just pull it right off on either side. If you don't have fingernails, a credit card or anything that you can get under there will work just fine. It comes right out. Once you get that out, all you have to do is kind of fold your lid right here, lift the back up right here, and then just pull the whole thing out. There is a wire harness right here for the parking gate and then another wire harness for the seat warmer and seat cooler. So unplug those and the whole thing comes right out. So this is what the backside looks like. So you got the plug right here for your seat warmers. Plug that off. Then you got the light plug for the gate. So you just unplug that. And really you don't even need to take those off. You can actually just leave it with the wires connected and you can actually slide the new one on. So now that you got it flipped over, all you have to do is take your new piece right here it's universal it doesn't matter which way it goes because it's the same both ways i believe so all you have to do is just kind of flip it over and you slip it over here on the front side of it and the little nub right here fits right through there and it actually just slides right in and there you got it pretty dang easy to replace as far as the alignment goes there is a big opening back here and then the slit side. Make sure the slit side matches with the slit side of the top of it. And then just line that up over here with the shifter and then just get it back in and you should be good. So got it all lined up and then just get this thing lined up with your shifter and put it back in. Right there, pop it back down, put all your pieces back together and you're ready to go. So there it is, we got it all back together. This is a two minute install. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on all my different DIYs for all my cars. Thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you guys next time.